In the Friday morning, a single Israeli attack on an Iranian airbase near the nuclear site close to the city of Isfahan. Iranian got a report about of a micro drone attack on the military headquarters. Western reporters revealed that the attack may only be the first stage in a revenge for Iran's missile barrage on Israel. Israeli attacks may have been carried out by Mossad inside Iran, says some reports. Israel launched revenge strike on Iran as world anxious for next move. From the outset, Israel is planning to strike Iranian nuclear sites. Israel may be trying to mirror Iran and allies like Hezbollah by starting with a minor attack, destroying radars, and throwing out bigger strike later. Before we proceed with the news and facts, please like and subscribe the channel to continue to receive such informative videos. Thank you. Iranian news claim it had destroyed three drones with its defense batteries and no damage was caused on the ground, attempting to downplay the embarrassment of Israel's surprise ambush. A British military analyst, Hamish Gordon, told Iran has been humiliated by the attack. Iran's reaction this morning is evidence that they are no match for Israel. Iran fired 350-plus drones and missiles. At Israel, 99% of them were taken down. Israel has fired one, maximum three, at Iran, and they've got through. Israel's target next to a nuclear base was significant. They've attacked their target near Isfahan, a militarized city, perhaps the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps headquarters. There has been no air attack from outside borders to Isfahan or other parts of the country. The defense is activated in response to an object that is likely to be a drone. The streets of Tehran saw public in hordes today in an anti-Israel protest. After last night's attack, it's close to a nuclear facility. That is significant. It's Israeli, demonstrating we can hit anywhere. Iranian general insisted it caused no damage or incident at all. There were other strikes overnight into Syria, and also Iran striking at probably Iranian militia forces, probably radar sites. According to the Western military analysts, Israel is targeting radar sites and proxy hubs as a first stage against Iran, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said. Israel should be where coalition of countries are working together to deal with the Iranian threat and to isolate it. Iran's underground nuclear plant was near the Isfahan airbase. There was no confirmation that it had been directly targeted. UN's nuclear watchdog chief Grossi said that Israel could indeed target Iran's nuclear sites. Iran stated that the nuclear facilities in Isfahan are completely safe. International Atomic Agency confirmed Todi that no damage was sustained to a nuclear site. Grossi reiterated for extreme restraint, as the agency would continue to monitor the situation closely. Blinken did say, the United States has not been involved in any offensive operations. The UK Prime Minister said Israel has a right to self-defense. We have been stressing to Israelis that de-escalation matters. Italy's Antonio Tajani said that the U.S. told G7 that it had been informed at the last minute of Israel's plans. Analysts described the Isfahan attack as an extremely dangerous moment.